Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome back to Dewsbury District Golf Club. We're up here practicing today and we're going to talk about how your ball position and how changing it can affect and help stop your slice. So what a common mistake I see um, day to day when coaching others is that the ball position can get too far forward. So here for practicing, we've got a cross here. So when that when we see that ball position sneak too far forward, what it can do is we can it can get your whole body standing open to the target. So we have the club face pointing square to the target. So now ball position's too far forward. And now my shoulders, hips, and everything. This is for a right-handed golfer, and now aiming to the left. So now my my uh, my body is now open to my club face, which can then create two things. The first thing, we could hit it sort of as you'd expect us to, so open path, square club face, creating that slice. And then the second thing can do would be the correction and otherwise known as a double cross, which you're then swinging through, releasing the hands, closing that face, which is then sending it left. Right, so now we're looking down the line, I'm going to try and show, show to you that how this ball position will then change how I'm stood address so we've got the ball on this yellow cross so if i stand there with it too far forward which is what i see a lot i set up to it now and you can see you probably or you probably can't see my left shoulder and you can see the club is pointing to the left like that that's going to promote this swing path to be coming out to in like that so we need to try and alter that to get it into out so then if i pull that ball position back maybe a club head off my left heel so now, so it's more just forward of centre, which is what I'd like to see here. Then we set up. Then I've got feet, knees, hips, and finally shoulders aiming square and much, much more down the target line. Then promoting that into in swing path, helping us hit that straight shot rather than that slice. Right, so I'm going to show you now how standing open to the ball with a with the ball position too far forward is going to um, affect uh, a couple of golf shots so we're setting up setting up square to the target but then we move that ball position forward now i'm sort of open shoulders are open left shoulders out of view from from you guys we're swinging you can see there that it's starting to move left to right not too much that um but that could be me correct that and then if we stand there again, and this is again another common shot that you'll see, is there we're stood open to it again, like that, hips open, shoulders open. We're a slice of the ball, so we're trying to correct it. Turn the hands over, double cross, move that left. And there, you know, if you're a slicer, that's probably a couple of shot shapes that you're uh, commonly seeing. So there, if we move that ball position back, just forward a centre, for this five iron, square the shoulders up. Now that swing path is going more into in. A lot straighter shot. Right, so a uh, top little drill that you can use to help stop that slice is make this little setup so we've got a swing path that's wanting to promote that into out swing path. So if you're a slicer that's going out to in like that, you'd swing through, you'd hit that and hit that um, and obviously send them down the range. You can, you can do this set up with golf balls and that if you don't want to smash your head cover down the driving range. But yeah, so we put the ball in the middle and the aim is to try and have a few swings first to feel that coming through that way. Then try it with the ball. Hopefully I don't smash, smash my head cover here down the range. Nearly got it. So there you can see ball flight, ball flight, nice little soft draw. So with the golf ball set up to help us achieve that path. So here I've got it, I've got the golf balls not in a straight line, but just coming around on this arc. So there you can just see it for you. You see the club face just coming back that way and then coming into the ball, try and follow that line with it. This driving, driving range map that I practice on has got like a small, uh, white line there in an arc so you can feel 
can see your club on that swing path and you can easily see, like same with the golf balls, you can easily see if your club is coming across that in the wrong way and you can try and follow, follow it round that way into in. Right, so we're going to hit a couple of shots now um, to see and to see if we've got everything correct. So there we've got ball position, club head off that left heel, set it up to the ball, shoulders are square, that means hips are square, knees, feet, everything square. Yep, straight shot. So second check. Front on view, set it up to the ball, that left foot, club head out from the ball there, so ball position just forward of centre, there. So hopefully there, with them couple of bits, tips, that'll help you kill that slice, help your ball flight. And help your ball striking as well. I'm staying here. I'm carrying on practicing. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.